It's break time! You're finally having the time to enjoy a fine cup of coffee into the break room. But before you pour yourself a cup and leave it unattended, here are some things you need to know. First of all, never leave your cup alone because some fantastical forces may make it tilt all over the place and your coffee will fall on the floor and fall into that conveniently placed drain where it will go into the sewers and where it will go into a course filled with flamethrowers and sig jumps. Just think about it this way for a second. Your coffee will have way more fun than you in your boring local job at the office where it will go into a local roller coaster and play with fire. Isn't that manly? And also, your water will end up into the local boiler room system where it will make things explode, the entire building will blow up and a whole bunch of people will be killed. So think about it for a second. Every time you don't drink coffee, you are a serial murderer and you set trees on fire. So, you be careful from now on, hey? Welcome back to Puddle. Into this update, we're gonna tackle the second chapter of the game, the nursery. It's about time that we move on to a brand new area because I was starting to get sick of all of the grays and blues of the water course. So it's now time for something a little bit more colorful and rejoiceful. But first we have to do something about our predicament of a box of sodium chlorine which is put on fire. This is bad news so we better put it off. Or, uh oh. Oh no! Tragedy has struck and we've lost our entire bottle. So here we have the level skip mechanism of the game. If you fail a level, you're allowed to whine in order to get past it. But as far as I know, this feature of the game is a complete failure because by seeing this, you'll pretty much be... Ah, oh, come on, I'm not gonna whine. What do you think I am, game? I'm gonna beat this fucking level. Just wait and see. <coughs> uh, where was I again? Oh yeah, that's right. We have to put off the fire in here. And here we go, we've succeeded. Uh, oops, okay, at least it counted for the game. Thank you for being lenient. So yeah, that was a pretty short introduction level, but you gotta have some of these. It always is good for the variety. And also, the level was kinda tricky, so it's a good thing that it was pretty short, because keeping your balance is pretty tricky. So here we go, we have a brand new kind of liquid for this level. We now have Weed Killer. Well, it behaves sort of the same like the water, but the difference here is you can use it in order to burn off certain branches and vine that are indicated by the game. But you also must not spill your liquid all over the sundew, because as with fire in the water course, this is lethal. But it's also a whole lot more rejoiceful. Oh, and I also love all of these bell sound effects whenever you burn a thing. All in all, the nursery really is the most serene world of the entire game, even though it's a little bit harder than the water course, but not by a whole lot. But it's gonna get a whole lot more difficult whenever we'll start getting the gold medals on it on extreme difficulty. Here, I pretty much struggled a whole lot more in order to get to my goal. But variety-wise, it's still not the best world of the game, because the next three levels of the game are sort of like this one, and they don't really change the gimmick all that much. I mean, you have a brand new kind of liquid, but you'll pretty much have it, and the level format and all of this won't change a whole lot from level to level. But the other levels in the chapter will have more interactivity than this one. Oh, come on! I thought that I had the gold medal on this one, but no. Yeah, sometimes the level design in this game can be infuriating because there will be parts where your liquid will be dispersed all over the place and by the time you're trying to gather it, you get to the exit and it's pretty hard to avoid and finally, by trying to get all of your liquid back together again, you just collect enough liquid to trigger the end of the level and then all of the rest of your liquid is lost even though it was on the way to victory. There are some levels in the game where you have to play exactly the way that the authors wanted you to. Ah, curse is renting! Because of this I missed all of the leaves being gently taken away by her weed killer solution, doing all of this pretty bell melody noise. And it gets even better on extreme because there's a whole lot more leaves. Yeah, this dragonfly right here is not much of an issue, but he can pretty much scatter your liquid all over the place and to hard times where you won't be able to get it back. So 
Even though he's not much of a threat, you do need to be wary of him regardless. In this level we get another use of our weed killer solution. We can use it in order to make all of the grass die and this allows you to make all of these branches bend over and die so that we can finally progress on into this subterranean area. Yeah, don't be in a hurry if you know what's good for you. This is where you can see some of the trial error nature of the game because if you rush in full speed ahead without any kind of worry, all of your liquid will end up straight in the sun dew and it will all brutally explode. Now this is a pretty touchy part of the level because in one way you will want all of your liquid to fall down but by doing so your liquid will fall off the branch and will also die in the sun dew and you need to make all of those branches collapse in order for you to progress further with the level. At least on normal, sometime your liquid can survive against the sun dew. You will see it being overly heated up and red but it will still carry on. Oh, earlier I was talking about inconvenient exit. This is also one of them. At least the game was somehow nice enough to hand me the time that I required in order to get all of my liquid in. Oh my god, are you kidding? Once again, we missed it by the skin of our teeth. Oh well. So right now we're gonna look at the extreme difficulty differences in the levels that we just played. The first level of this episode kinda plays the same, but at the same time, it just seems that the large pot on which your box of sodium chlorine rests really moves around a whole lot, so it's a whole lot harder to keep your box in balance. It already was hard into the normal difficulty, but here it's even harder. Oh, and just in case that you missed it, on extreme difficulty, you're only allowed to skip two levels by whining at them. But as we know already, winners don't whine. Uh, oh my god, we're done. Uh, oh shit. Uh, uh, what? Okay, so my box exploded and I still beat the level. Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Like in Water Course, level 2 is where you'll see that the hit detection with your liquid and the sun dews is more sensible. On the first time, you're being shielded by the vine, but on the second time, it's definitely not the case, so you have to be a whole lot more careful. But other than that, there's no changes. This level does a pretty unnecessary change, but at the same time I welcome it because it's so pretty sounding. I suppose that this section has more leaves in an attempt to make it so that your liquids get more scattered, but it really doesn't make it all that harder. But the second change that you'll see in this level is a pretty significant one because it can really throw you off. Yeah, the way that these branches behave is now different. Yeah, they melt away a whole lot faster, so you have to be a whole lot more careful because if you're not ready for this, yeah. Things like this happen and you lost pretty much a good amount of liquid because there's pretty much all of our liquid on the left which is stuck there with no possibility of getting over so you have to be careful. So that'll be it for the first part of the nursery. Stay tuned for the second half of the chapter in which our weed killer will stop killing branches and trees and give life.